the recap. Okay. Last session, um, we started out um, um, all together in the Temple to Ill Matter with um, with uh, the newly made vampire. Um, oh, I'm blanking on his name. Um, M. Maluf. 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 Um, Maluf. We started out in his temple um, and, um, and had just finished our long rest and we're waking up for the next morning. Um, uh, during that long rest, Pavel drew up some blueprints for an assembly line in the factory um, for, um, for the uh, tower um, and had some uh, things for like growing herbs and herbalism and making potions was really cool. Um, Tamila spent a moment speaking um, to Shadow. Um, Shadow believes that hell is bad for her and she's afraid that she's turning into like a demonic creature and will lose herself, which is super sad. Um, Spent made breakfast and was doing better. Um, Pavel, being all mysterious, he cast Sending to um, Elisat Warworth. Um, a friend asking about how to get to the city of brass. And um, the response was, I have missed your voice, Pavel. Funny you should say that because I am with uh, um, Azaz and the resistance in the city of brass now. Um, Azaz being the fire elemental that Pavel remembers from, um, from his parents in the tower that he grew up in. Um, and that there's also a connection between Azaz and um Al Alim, um, in the who was the uh, the blacksmith in the settlement where Vin grew up. I don't think anyone in the group knows about any of that, though. I don't think Pavel <laughs> Pavel shared that. So um, Pavel also cast um, sending to the spirit of knowledge, and um, and kind of was asking a. Uh, um, Trying to strike a deal, um, basically delivering Tamila to Tiamat in exchange for um, the spellbook from the wizard who used to live in the in the tower, um, and also tried to uh, to ask for Tamila to be unharmed. Um, the Spear of Knowledge said yes to the book, but could not guarantee Tamila's safety. So Pavel went and talked to Tamila, and Tamila agrees that she like wants to go there, and definitely we should get Pavel his book, and that this is like a good. Good way forward on her journey would be to go to that place. Um, and we know that Tiamat Slayer is in the mountains of Dis. Um, which actually occurs to me is probably, that's probably on the second layer of hell, the mountains of Dis, right? Because Dis, Dis is the second layer of hell. So, <laughs> so we might need to uh, go that way. Or maybe it's between the first and second layers. That's what Tiamat guards. I don't know. We're, we'll figure that out. Um, Lulu also had memories of a hand-shaped mountain, but I think late, later we kind of figure out maybe that's a different mountain. Um, um, we talked a little bit about um, Kinku. Um, Vin says Kinku laugh when you cannot pronounce her name right. Um, and uh, But eventually we made our way to the northeast gates, which were broken down, um, and conjured Pav... Um, Pavel conjured a spyglass to look around a little bit off the edge of um, a Velterel. Um and, uh, and we found the Hand Mountain, where Lulu's memories are, um, to the uh, southwest. Or maybe it was just more west, but so I think southwest. Um, and we talked a little bit about just the logistics of getting there, how far we can like travel, um, you know, just from walking and some other things like that. Um, Vin uh, looked at his compass. And the compass that was previously pointing like southwest is now pointing more northwest. And we just did some like mental math that like there's something that would make sense that like something is like probably moving. <laughs> um, um, maybe a horse or walking speed or something like that. Um, that, that, yeah, that, that his, his compass is pointing to something on the move. Um, but we decided to go back to High Hall and jump off from there. Um, when we crossed the bridge from the market to get back to Sh Sh um, High Hall, Spinch was not able to activate the visibility and took some damage from the bridge. It was very sad, but we were able to fight our way across um, and get to the other side of the bridge. Um, we, we, instead of going to High Hall, we actually went to the tower and talked to Grey. She had made an orb of creation, which was super awesome. She now has the orb she needs, and Pavel gave her the plans to automate the potions of healing. Um, Grace also spoke a little bit about the Lords of Avernus and how um, there's some people at High Hall talking about them. And we refill on the holy water. Now Spinch has quite a bit, as does Tamilla. 
And, um, and just kind of a summary of what we know about the Lords of Avernus. Um, the Archduke of Avernus, level one, was previously Bell and is now Zariel. And the Warlords are all constantly in flux. Um, Tiamat might kind of sort of be a Warlord, um, but also maybe not. Um, and the Archduke of, Le of Dis, level two, is Despater. Um, and um, as Medo as Asmodeus oversees everything at the bottom. He would technically be the Archduke of the bottom level of Hell, but he also oversees all of Hell. And that the Warlords are, um, they were unknown to us at the time of this conversation, except for Bell. Um, so Pavel sends to Silvera, Silvera, and she gets us some names. Um, she listed um, Algorin, Bell, Bitter, Breath, Carl, Devon, Fenor, um, I'm, I, there's a bunch, um, including, um, I'll just I'll go through, uh, Kolonosh, Mag Maggie, um, Princeps Kovic, um, Ragged Dragaga, um, and she recommended that we ally ourselves with either Mad Maggie or Bell, and said that all of them were dangerous, and she didn't list Tiamat. Um, and we determined that all of those people that she just lists are not necessarily devils, um, that warlords can be any powerful creature. It doesn't necessarily have to be a devil. Um, uh, we, Pavel had a book of information on fiends, but it was outdated. The, um, the bell, who is a devil, was the only one really listed on there. Um, sorry. Um, we went to the southern edge of um, the west side of the map, and um, we could see you know, the, the hand shape um, to the mountains of the east. Um, but we um, we decided to jump off. We made a big glider, um, one big glider for everyone, and um, and we land below the city slightly to the west. Um, and uh, the area is acidic down there, and um, from the distance we can see the um, the giant chains that are attached to El Terrell are ratcheting, pulling the city down to the ruins around the river Styx. Um, which is a river of blood. Um, and we looked around the ruins. We didn't look around in the ruins, but but we're now at the ruin level, and we can see that um, these ruins are from many different planes and many different times, potentially, and they're haunted by, like, will o and that we think um, all these ruins are cities that befell the same fate as El Terrell, that, um, that were pulled down to, um, to around the, uh, the river. Um, and, you know, we're, we're here out, just outside the ruins in this hazy, barren ground, and we start marching towards the mountain. Um, we basically decide to walk until we need a rest. Um, we found um, originally an, an outcropping that was um, kind of uh, shielded a little bit from, from view. Um, Pavel sends to Eleonora, um, asking for clarification on what she meant about here some bringing the Feywild into the estate. And Elendora says the tree has grown twice as, ro uh, as large and its roots have destroyed the hedge mage, he hedge maze, and that wild plants have grown around the manor and are starting to spread into the manor. And, um, and Pavel was just wondering if um, the Feywild intrusion affects his agreement um, with with them owning the manor and um and feels like maybe he should consult a lawyer um but we um we start watch we keep watch uh, nothing really happens with spencer vin um uh tamilla um on her um watch uh there's a haze that comes up and we end up re um, having to relocate our camp in order to prevent um a level of exhaustion um, we're spent taking a level of exhaustion and we move about like a mile away to a, a spot that's like up above the haze. And we restart the watches. Um, on Tamila's watch, she notices like this me a mechanical vehicle heading towards the hand mountain that we're kind of um, walking towards. Um, Pavel, during his watch, um, did some reading. Um, it, I wrote down most of the creatures bound to the cages in the tower were aberrations with only a few devils. Um, Pavel thinks that he could bind a devil to a cage using the technique that was used in the tower. Um, during Spinch's watch, he prays still matter, um, talks about why he's sad and um, starting to but starting to feel better. Um, and Spinch hears a response from Ill matter that says sometimes the pain is difficult to bear when the suffer uh, when the suffering is too strong. You must rely on your friends. Do not waver. Your bonds will grow deeper. Um, Spinch. 
also noticed a flock of flying creatures that were not unlike the the um the vulture gremlin thing that um that uh, that we saw in El Terrell. and uh, he sees a huge flock of them flying over the bogs in north um northeast and figures that bog might be where they're kind of from and that they're probably very dangerous in those large numbers. Um Spinch asks Vin if they're friends and Vin said yep. And then asks, will you leave me? And Vin said, probably. Not sure which one will die first, but it'll probably be me. And Spinch hugs Vin. It's a very sweet moment. Um, Vin, also, uh, during his watch, also sees the flying creatures over the bog. Um, and we end there, at the end of all of the, um, the, re- uh, the end of all the watches, and everyone taking their rest and leveling up. Where we ended last session. Very nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and long rest Spinch. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she'll be joining soon, but I'll play Spinch for a little bit. Um, Spinch did not level up yet, so <laughs> and she's oh no. still figuring things out. <laughs> Been lost in thought a bit. What would you like to do? It's, uh... Should we head towards the Hand Mountain? Yeah, let's just yeah. keep going. Um, Jamila, is there any way that we can actually talk to to hear some? I've uh, I I think he's doing things to my house, and I want to just ask what he's doing. Um, okay, um, Kirsten, are are you here and listening right now? Um, you see the familiar squirrel, um, an illusion, uh, but it, it, it comes out and steps onto this rock. Um, it's Kirsten. Hello, Tamilla. Hello. Hello, Kirsten. Uh, can... Pavel? I hear that you're doing some remodeling. Oh, yeah. Is that right? It looks much better here. Really? Uh, uh, um, it just just to make it look better. Because <laughs> well, I feel also like... more comfortable. I mean, it, okay. all this hard stone and this cut wood—it's not very comfortable. I see. And uh, should should it be desired to go back to the way that it was uh, once you're done with your stay, is that possible? I suppose, with some of your human ingenuity. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I could convince what, what about... the plants to retreat as well. <laughs> Just convince the plants to retreat. This is wonderful. Um, I'm... A little bit worried uh, that the 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 house is going to like fall apart and break open, and there's not going to be a house anymore. Is that is that a concern that there's just going to be like roots growing everywhere, and you're going to ruin the well? I, I, ruin is probably not the right word, but you're going to uh, you know alter things and uh, I, I like. I think there was a fountain somewhere. The fountain could probably get broken if, like, the roots get into there. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, nature is much better. Wouldn't you agree, Tamila? Eh. I'm, I have no opinions on this. I'm, I'm out of this argument. Well, Mister Pavel, I think it is only making the house stronger and increasing its value. Making the house stronger, what does that even mean? Well, by bringing it more closely aligned to the realm that it's in, it's stronger for it. Stronger for it. Does it, does the house eat people now? Is that what that means? The house is alive. Oh, it's a shelter. It's a shelter. I've enjoyed some parties here. 
I'm sure that you have. I hope that I have been an amicable host for your parties. Oh, yes, your wine is even better. You should come try it. <laughs> All right, well, here's some I trust. I trust that uh, you will do nothing that would cause me to speak ill of you as my honored guest. Good. Then we're in agreement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice chat, Pavel. <laughs> nice chat, Pearson. Please be nice to the family. Oh, yes. We're great friends. This place is awful. I don't see yes, any, isn't it? any beasts, any plants. Ugh. How long are you staying? Hmm. I mean, probably the, the shortest time period possible in order to get everything resolved. Hmm. Probably. Is there any way I could speed that up a bit? Do you want to give us a a ability to travel faster through this kind of awful place? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could. I'm I mean, the trade would be the exp the expeditiousness of our uh, of of things happening, which is valuable to you. Sure. And he uh, snaps his fingers and he gives you each an umbrella. This will help with the acid rain. Ooh. It's nice. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> and you see, um, he just like kind of like uh, cleans his paws and then cleans his face and then disappears. What, um, what kind of umbrellas are they? Are they just regular umbrellas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can I can identify. <laughs> yep. Take five minutes and identify the umbrellas. You take five minutes and identify the umbrella, which will, when held, uh, block rain that hits it. Uh, and acid. <laughs> it also, sorry, gives mm. resistance to acid. Uh, so, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. But you have to hit it. Like, it has to go hit the umbrella to get the resistance. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna open mine up and, like, what, what do they look like? Do they look like they're made of plants? Or, like, are they brightly colored? Or are these normal umbrellas? Or, like, parasol things? They're all they're all very, like, pink with, like, daisy florals. <laughs> <laughs> they are um, kind of like big uh, m red mushrooms um, with white dots. So they look like poisonous-looking mushrooms um, to protect you from the acid rain. Um, the but the stalks are... The, the stalk of the is, like, hardened... Um, and almost like a uh, almost to the a wood type root um, for okay. the handle. So Vin Vin will just like kind of examine the handle for a while and just be like, it's getting pretty close to not wood here. Maybe next time we 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 take a little bit of extra time and we work work some trees into this. I just say that aloud to nobody in particular, because <laughs> I'm guessing he's already gone. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, Vin. It's, uh... That's fine. Would you like a? He gets it. Would you like a piece of wood? I mean, I have wood. I make a I'll piece of wood. I'll take some more, I guess. Do you I have more wood? To... Yeah, I just, I just, I just produce a piece of wood and I give it to Vin. Great. I take the wood. It just adds to his collection. In an hour, it's gonna disappear. Okay, Vin will probably forget about it during that time as well. So that's good. <laughs> I love them. All right. Um, where's your big hefty map? Here you are. All right. 
so you are nearing um, where you saw the mountain. Um, so um, you would like to approach uh, on land. Um, who is keeping watch? Who is trying to navigate? And anything else you'd like to do during your travels? Mill will be navigating. Okay. Try to keep watch. All right. So perception from Vin, survival from Tamilla. Okay. Still a nine. Yeah, it's still a nine. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, Tamilla leads you. Um, Vin is able to see the mountain um, and kind of get you going in that direction. Um, but Tamilla leads you straight into um, this area that's almost very close to lava and the ex the extreme heat is affecting you all i need you all to make a constitution saving throw as the ground around you radiates extreme temperatures <laughs> Ooh. yeah today is not tabilla's day <laughs> don't i don't think it's anyone else's either but <laughs> uh i forgot Finch. Olivia can't make it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, since it's a whole night, who wants to run Spinch? I can run Spinch. I... Okay. Yay. Max is a good name for a dog. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you should see Spinch now. Go ahead and do a con save. Yes, I do. Thank you. Yes, I will. Oh, yes, of course. I volunteered to play him. That's what that means. <laughs> yeah. there you go. All right. Um. So let's see here. Um. You are all profusely sweating. You you're okay to keep pressing on. Um, and you start to near, uh, the mountain. Uh, go ahead and make another con save as the heat is still, uh, extremely terrible from this side of the mountain. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor okay, that's another one. I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that. All right, so Mila is the only one disastrously affected by this. Um, you, let me see here, gain one level of exhaustion as you've sweat more than you can drink and you're just so dehydrated and exhausted from this trek. So these lands are not hospitable for mortals. But you I actually, so it, it didn't want to affect the constitution, but I think I was supposed to have advantage on my survival check because of an ability. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's let me, roll that. Let me check. Yeah. Maybe. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to check. Uh, favored enemies, you advantage on wisdom survival checks to track your favorite enemy. Yeah, no, that probably doesn't count. Never no. mind. Ignore me. No. <laughs> It'd be terrain. I ignore me. If you have a Vernon. <laughs> I don't think that's an option. Um... Right. Picked like mountains or something, yeah. No, never mind. Sorry, all right, cool. ignore me. All right, um, I have art for you. You approach a um, massive wall created out of um, parts and pieces of those metal machines and just tons of sheet metal, and there appears to be a tower. Um, in the distance that has a gate below it. Do we just go to the gate then? I mean, it seems like we either, you know, check in and see what it's going to cost us to go through here, uh, or we try to be sneaky about it, or we do something different. So there's three options. 
Um, we can try to sneak through if we want. I feel like we're not the sneakiest of people. I mean, we can try, but... Like we're asking for trouble in a place that we don't know if yet is trouble or not. That's fair. It approach. looks like trouble. We we could um, disguise great. ourselves as uh, as undead things, if you'd like. We have at least one amulet to look undead. I think we have a second one. I mean, we could just um, and I produce a spyglass and I like pulled it out. I think Tamil is the the one who's good at looking. At, um. Do you want to just, like, see if you can spot what's in the tower, or well, what's going on? Well, Vin's better at looking. Vin's oh, a lot Vin? better at looking. Vin! Yeah. <laughs> sure. Vin will take the spyglass again, and okay. take a look out. Your yeah. uh, piece of wood is gone, by the way. Oh, that's fine. Vin, again, Vin Vin took it haphazardly. You could do that to Vin, like, a hundred times, and he probably only <laughs> noticed after, like, like, 50, right? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Vin. Uh... All right, perception with advantage. Pretty okay. high DC. Yeah, but that's good enough. Um, so you see um, small creatures um, wearing um, a lot of red clothing. But you're not sure much aside from that. Uh, but there appears to be a, a bunch of them up on the tower looking out. They look like you said. You're saying creatures. They don't look like they're humans. They're just creatures, in general. Yeah, they don't look human. Okay. But they're wearing clothing. Like, can you? Uh, I'll just I'll just pass that on. I'm like I I can't tell. I don't think Kenku, but who knows? Uh, you, you don't think yeah. You don't think Kenku. You didn't see um like black feathers or anything like that. I just want to check it. This, that is our intention of being here, right? Is we're looking for Kenku that can help restore Lulu's memories. Yeah, right. I think fine. we're trying to climb the mountain, though. So. Like, Maybe get up that, to like, yeah, the hand part? The yeah. Because that's well, where. Then we gotta get beyond the wall, then. Yep. Okay, so right. are we. What are we doing? Are we, are we, are are we, we direct approach? Are we... Yeah. Um... I'll, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm really tired, y'all. I do not think I'm going to be able to sneak as well as I normally can. Okay. But we can try to sneak if you want. Another, like, option, if we want to, like, talk without getting into danger, is I can cast a message. Like, we just approach the wall, we get 120 feet away from it, and I can cast message and just... Like, I don't know, I guess I have to use the spyglass and look and then cast. <laughs> that, that should probably work. Okay. We can just okay. engage try. from a distance and hope that they don't have artillery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or are we sneaking to 150 feet away? Is that what we're doing? Uh, 120 feet, yeah. 120 feet away. Sure, we can do that. Okay. What do I say to them? Um, hello. Is this your wall? It is very beautiful. What do you do here? That kind of a thing? Any suggestions? No, I think that's good, oh. right? Let's we'll start okay. a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're going to learn a lot right away in terms of whether or not they're friendly or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so... Are we, are we close enough to do this already, or do we have to approach or do anything uh yeah if you want to do your stealth checks um to get to 120 feet you said yeah all right go ahead okay that's much better yeah well, somewhat better mm -hmm. uh can we do one for spinch okay yes all right um you hear um excited yelling atop of the um the tower. <laughs> Who goes there? That is like they're, they're just yelling out 120 feet across yeah. the barren. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the spyglass and I'm gonna zoom in on whoever's like yelling whoever yelled that mm -hmm. and I'm gonna point at them. I'm gonna say 
Hello there. We're traveling. We have a very nice wall. How are you? Today. Hello, ghost. Hello? Are you here to haunt me because I killed that guy yesterday? I'm sorry. They are idiots, I say. <laughs> okay, well, you talk to the okay. idiot, see if you can't yeah. convince them to let us in, maybe? Okay. Um... Yes, I am going to haunt you for today and tomorrow and every single day for the rest of your life. Unless you open the gates and let those travelers pass through unharmed. <laughs> I've always been so lonely. Now I have a friend. Hey guys, I'm talking to a ghost. Hey, he says we should open up the gate. <laughs> hey ghost, what's the password? I cannot tell you the password because the password has just changed. And if I tell you the password, then you will know the password and that would be a security breach. <laughs> Give me a deception uh, with advantage because this guy's <laughs> bought into oh, it. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, Ghost, but what's your name? I want to know who I'm talking to. Guys, he wants a name. What should I... What name should I give him? Larry. Larry? Or, or okay. like... Okay, or you could be, like, Bell or something like, you know... No, uh, no. It's uh, better if we don't ghost. pretend to be, like, a warlord, right? Like, okay. let's keep it... Let's keep go with it Larry. simple. Yeah, go, go yeah. with Larry. I could, yeah, yeah. I could be Gargoyle. Sure. Okay. Sure. What was the sure. Name of the... Yeah. Or Largoth. What was the name of that? Um. What was the name of the guy that uh took control of you or whatever? Did we? We got his name, didn't we? The Succubus. Inc yeah. Incubus. Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness. I'll go with Inky. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Inky the ghost. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm not Inky a the ghost. ghost. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it actually is. That's why it sounds just like I, a good ghost yeah. name. They they do have names, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, to point at him again, again, and I'm going to cast, and I'm going to say, "I am the great and terrible Larry the Ghost." You uh, and... hear him start to brag to his friends. Larry the Ghost is my new friend. Haha, <laughs> only I can talk to him. Oh, open the gate! And you you all see um, the gate uh, slowly raising. What name did you go with? Did you go with Inky or Larry? Uh, I, I, I went with uh, Larry the Great and Terrible Ghost. <laughs> um, I probably have to do a different voice now because I use my regular voice for this. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a silly voice when we if we if we talk to them. Um, so I think they're pretty easy to manipulate and pretty stupid. So we can probably um, we can probably get through this without like fighting. That's a good plan. I mean, anytime we don't have to fight, it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna don the uh, the mask of many faces as we're approaching. Just to... okay. I'm not gonna use it. What do you? Okay. Oh, you're just wearing it. Cool. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. You know, I'm gonna be like uh, uh, the just a just a sir desk word. Yeah. 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 Nice. Very cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna stick you all on a new map here in a sec. I just forgot to put you on the page, so putting you on. Okay. Oh, Piggy. There's Piggy. All right, you all, it's a giant map, so you're in the bottom left here at the gatehouse. Um, you see, now that you're a little bit closer, you see these, like, little tiny guys, um, that have, um, red hats on. They're called red caps. Oh, I almost shared the sheet instead of the handout. And these are who you've been talking to. You hear one uh, yelling out as you're passing into the gate. Larry! Larry! Where are you? I wait like a good, <laughs> like, 30 seconds. And then I will recast the spell. Um, well, you have done as I asked. Uh, I am no longer required to haunt you. So, well done. Congratulations. Would you like me to keep haunting you? Yes, I would like to subscribe to haunting. All right. Um, we're going to have to look at what plan we're <laughs> going to take here for this. There's, of course, a fee. Um, haunting services are not cheap. Um... <laughs> well, don't worry it's though sad. you know the fee is just it, it's available on our patreon it's <laughs> tier system available <laughs> low level you get all the bonus content everything you need to make sure that you're <laughs> you see the other ones it's yell down who are too you all disappointed <laughs> We're, we're friends with Larry. Oh. We're, All we're right, Will. Where is the elite club of haunters? Don't fuck around in there. Okay. They let you through. You can travel to the other side of the gate if you like. Um, you see patrols of, um, like, regiments of the Red Caps, um, just patrolling the area. Um, you see what looks to be a marketplace between the two, uh, first fingers, and a bar between the thumb and the first finger, and a giant machine further away. Lots to do and explore here. Lulu looks Don't excited. Think... She says, um, this looks familiar. That's good. In a good way? Yeah, I was going to say, is this a good way or in a bad way? I don't know. I think I'm just happy I remember something. Good. All right. So are we, let's, are we just going to find, see if we can find the Kanku real quick? Okay. In my experience, they're always in the market. So... Start there, okay. I guess. All right. Are you being all right? What was that? Last what was thing? that? <laughs> uh, yeah. your babble said all right, and then he tried to change. Oh, he changed his voice. I guess. That's all right. All uh, right. I guess we'll just go in the market, uh, okay. and I'll just start walking towards the market. All right. Um, you see in here um, a lot of goblins milling about. Uh, and then uh, you see um, one like rather large goblin that seems to be ordering a lot of them around. Hey, you guys, new customers, come over this way. Okay. We're actually looking for some, some people, but yeah. We'll see. We can we could do a little shopping first, I guess. Yeah. 
the uh, chubbier goblin, bigger than the others. Um, uh, he has um, the main stall here on the right. Uh, and he is, his stomach's always, like, glowing, and he ha currently he has smoke coming out of his ears. Hey, you guys got any gold? If you got gold, I got stuff. I just have silver. What? I have silver. Vin pulls all of the money he has out of his pocket, which is... All right. What about soul seven... coins? Get get some some soul coins. Do some business. I don't know what that is. Does uh. it look like this? And I pull out twenty nine copper pieces. Oh no! Get out of my face! What about you okay. all? I got a little bit of gold, but only if you got something worth spending on. Ah oh, yes, you look like a little warrior type. I got I got silvered weapons. I got bracers of defense. I got circlets of blasting. How much gold you got? Hmm. Well. Um. Sorry. Probably not enough. To yeah. Pay if for you, any you can see um, yeah. the the handout okay. there, there is an exchange rate for soul coins, but as you don't have them yet, I didn't put that on there yet. But that, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, the, this, the green steel coins aren't soul coins, right? They are not. They're different. It's different. Yeah. You, eh. in it, I guess in addition to selling things, you buy things? Yeah, I could be persuaded to buy something. You got something worth buying? Ah, uh, well, I do. I only have one thing right now, but I can work on maybe some other things. Uh, and right. I'll pull out... I'll pull out the, the stake uh, that I carved with Layla's uh, kind of figure on the back. And this like, is some fine craftsmanship. Yeah. We actually we actually use this to kill her, too, so it, it's a little bit special in that way. Got a story. I like it. How much you want? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well... I'm terrible at it. Vin would probably know, but I have no yeah. idea what that would be worth. Uh, Vin is gonna... Vin, I'll oh, oh, shoot shoot high for what Vin probably expects. Mm -hmm. He'll be like, ah, uh, how about like 40 gold? How about 30? How about 37? 35. Done. Shake the hand. <laughs> yeah, he, he takes the, the stake uh, and hands you 35 gold pieces. Nice. Nice. It's... Turning turning trash into money. Mm -hmm. Vin's specialty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you see him handed off to a goblin who crawls through like little tunnels that are in this um this mountainous finger. Um and out of sight. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, you too. Do you guys don't you don't you don't see any Kanku around here? It looks like you guys are all goblins here. Huh? Oh yeah, we they they got some kanku working on the uh, scavenger over there. Oh okay, what's a scavenger? A uh, big metal thing. Ooh okay. All right. Well, maybe if we get some money, we'll come see you later. Bye. Uh, he it just waves. Away. I don't know um, what anyone else You see is him doing. try to eat a, a potion um, as you're walking away, and another goblin smacks it out of his hand. He's, he looks disappointed. Eat a potion, like just like glass and all. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, cast sending to my red cap again, and I'm just gonna be like, Ooh, ah. so uh, who's in charge around here anyway? I'll tell you if I'm subscribed. Uh, well, if you, <laughs> you're subscribed, you got it. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> it's Mad Maggie. Ask for Mad Maggie. She gets, she's in charge of everything around here. Thank you. Ooh. 
<laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll message uh, Vin and Tamila and Spinch and let them all know that Mad Maggie is in charge here. It's the one Silvera recommended that we yes, line with, you. yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and uh, the Kankus apparently are working on the big metal thing <laughs> next door. Apparently called a that scavenger. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. I don't know. I actually misspoke. It was metal. a demon grinder. Might be. Oh, okay. But demon grinder. Well, that's uh, that's different. <laughs> yeah, I say demon grinder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you also do see um, two Kanku working on it, as uh, Porter described. All right. I guess we walk up to the Kanku. Unless anyone else is doing anything different. Wait, unless you want to keep haunting the red cap. <laughs> Ooh. You see uh, this area of the um, this uh, makeshift fort is enclosed um, and with skittered with or littered, sorry, with uh, trash and mechanical parts, um, and this vehicle seems to be kind of like duct taped together. Um, and a lot of you see Chuka and Klonk are um, working away on it, the two Kanku. Um, you also see some weird pools of just this black viscous liquid. Um, and these crazy little creatures um, that look like demented versions of the red caps. Ooh. around that pool can i um do any sort of check to try to figure out what the red caps are like do i think they're fiends they they i don't think they're devils just by the art do a uh, arcana check for me yeah Especially like the madcaps, <laughs> they might yeah. be demons, but. <laughs> and to Mila try to remember from her, uh, I don't know, studies of Avernus if she knows either. You could do um, history with advantage. Yeah. Okay, exhaustion makes that a straight roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, to Mila, you are sure that they are not in your devil uh, readings? Um, and then Pavel, you remember that they are fey creatures. Both the red and oh, the mad. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Wait, what are fey doing here? Mad Maggie? Well, that sounds... Actually, that checks out. That checks out with that name and these being... Yep, okay. Do you want to ask Hearsome if Hearsome knows Mad Maggie? I mean, I don't want to be, like, rude and assume that, like, all Faye know each other. That's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I need some... Okay. But um, I feel some... like Kirsten might know someone named Mag Ma Mad Maggie. Like, I feel like Mad Maggie is someone who parties. Yeah, well, and I play Power Person. Like, um, Kirsten, um, have you ever heard of, like, a powerful person named Mad Maggie? Or just a person named Mad Maggie in general? Um, you see the, the little um, squirrel up here um, looks a little like dazed and confused. Um, oh, my Tamilla, bothering you too much. Oh, I'm sorry, here's my bothering you too much. Well, I was just uh, enjoying some wine. What's going on? You want Mad Maggie? Uh, there was a Have Maggie, you heard of her? a, a hag, I believe. Exiled oh. from, uh, from the Flay Wild, pissed off Titania, I think. Is not she... much of a partier then. She was not a partier. No, she was. She had some machinations. I don't know something about souls. I don't know. Sorry, did you say gnolls? Souls. Holes. 
I don't know what that means. Like 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 goals. life goals like like a Mind person soul. <laughs> Ooh, soul. No, oh, souls. I heard, okay. I heard like three different. I heard a K. I heard a T. I heard a P. Oh, I heard discord. a G in there. Like, my B. Um, do you think we should like not ally with her then, Yusuf? Like, or do you like not care? Like, we wouldn't want to tick off your mom. We like your mom. Oh, you can tick her off. Just don't tick off my dad. Gotcha. And she's not my mom. Oh, I And apologize. he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Stepmom, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> you see, he was a little salty about that, mm -hmm. and he leaves. I wonder who Kirsten's mom is, then. It is a thing for another day. Elle still there? Yep. 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 But you want to talk to the Kinku? We feel like we should make friends with the Kinku. Lulu says, yeah, let's do it. We need to it. go talk to him. Yeah, I was about to say, we need to go talk to him for Lulu anyway. So, do you recognize them, Lulu? Not them, but Kenku. That, that's familiar. Okay. Well, uh, how, how long ago was it that you were here? I mean, how long do you... Like... I don't remember. Okay. It was probably a long time ago, and Kinku, I think, are very mortal creatures. They seem like very material creatures like the rest of them. Do you remember how? Like, so I'm sure we can do math on this. How long ago since the Zariel was in hell? Make me pull up my timeline. A second. We, I think we just want to know if it's in the lifespan of a Kinku or no. It's What's beyond the life really lifespan of a Kinku. Yeah. Okay. That checks out. Mm -hmm. Maybe these are like the kiddos of the Kinku that. You remember? Maybe. Maybe they have stories? Yeah, we should ask the you you speak Kinku, right, Vin? You you know how I mean they don't you should again, you know, they don't have a language, but yeah, I I Spoken to him before. I, I can. You should. Probably you should do the talking. This is this is your uh, moment to shine. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're make us some things, friends. Right. It's they're all yeah. the same. Yeah. All right. Uh, then we now <laughs> confidently go up and walk up to the the Kenku. Nice. Uh, they uh, are covered in a little bit of like grease and um, dirt, um, but they look to you uh, and they they cock their heads um, and they say. Hello. My name's Vin, uh, and this is... Uh, honestly, they, the rest of them don't matter too much. This is Lulu, <laughs> though. Uh, and she is... Name Angel. Lulu? Name Lulu. <laughs> Do you know what Lulu means? Uh, I turned to Lulu. Does Lulu know what Lulu means? <laughs> She looks confused. <laughs> she like shrugs her little ears. <laughs> her big ears, I should say. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think they do. Lulu means love in Kenku language. Oh. You hear that? You see, that's nice. Oh, yes. what was your names again? I'm uh used to hear the sound of like a train going. But you could call me Chuka. And I am you hear the sound of like a wrench hitting metal. And you can call me Clonk. Mm -mm. That's that's very nice to meet you. Uh I, I grew up around Kenku, so I'll probably just be using your real names. Uh they they <laughs> tend to like that a bit better. Uh 
I, Zuzu remembers being here some time ago and some Kenku here, but she doesn't remember much past that. I'm guessing it probably wasn't you all, right? No, but story, meaning of love, we learned from Lulu. Golden oh. elephant. Same Lulu? Not Blake. Uh, do you want to, can you tell us the story? Long time ago, little elephant lost their memory, was, came here. It was different warlord at the time, not Mad Baggy. And they sent Lulu away. But Lulu was nice to Kenku. Kenku always have home here now. Thanks, Lulu. Maybe Mad Maggie can help. Mad oh, Maggie have machine. Memory machine? Dream machine. Ooh. Relive memories through dreams. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, are we? Do we need an appointment? To meet with Mag Maggie, or is it just kind of a first come first serve kind of thing? Uh, you hear them. Um, hold on, where are we at? They'll say, "Oh, patience is a virtue. Can't keep the boss waiting. I'll go get her." And uh, you see, uh, uh, which one is this? This clonk uh, goes back this mm -hmm. way. Um, and Shuka gives a, holds up their, their hands and say for you to wait. Um, and, uh, after about 10 minutes, um, Clonk returns. While, uh, while they're away, oh, yeah, I wanna, yeah. I wanna, uh, send my buddy. So, like, what do you guys do here? What do you do? <laughs> oh, well, we... We keep the gate, and we watch for bad guys. We're pretty tough, as you would know, because I killed you the other day. Yes, very tough. So, you, like, I mean, but what about like the goblins and the? Uh, and there's like other one, like there's uh people that kind of look like you, but they're playing in tar, and they look a little uh, melty. Oh, they're not okay. Don't mess with that <laughs> demon not out okay. there. <laughs> okay. I don't know how it reacts to ghosts. Don't mess with its demon acre is what it is. Okay. I'm passive. Okay. Um Does anything happen around here? Like, I, you're you're the guards. You you kill the things, but like, what, what's like the purpose of this place? Well, you would know. You were trying to raid us, don't you remember, Larry? It's it's very foggy, uh, very foggy. Uh. Do do we raid you often? I don't know. Time is weird here. Okay. <laughs> time is probably... Uh, this is out of character. The time is probably normally here, and these are red caps, and they're not used to normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. I, okay. <laughs> well, uh, well, Pavel's doing that. Uh, Tamila wants to, like... Uh, Go see if if uh, the Kinku will let, let her look at the machine. Ah, uh, yeah, Chuka's Hi. there. Um, hello, are you gnome? Um, yep, I'm never seen I'm gnome. A gnome. Careful, people say you're delicious. Oh well, I that's nice. I'm can't believe it's true with all the. Uh, no, okay, can I see your your cool? <laughs> Machine? What, what, what does it do? It's like... Horse on material plane. 
but metal and faster. And this here grinds demons. And this here destroys other vehicles. And it's called a vehicle, we decided. So oh, cool. Infernal war machine. It's what the devils call it. Very I know the infernal expensive. word for a war machine. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Very expensive, huh? Very expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Where are the horses, though? Like, do they go inside? These things, they're called wheels. They spin. Yeah, no, I, I know axle, wheels. And yeah, I've... this, and he shows you like an engine, and he's just like, and this runs on soul coins. And you put the soul coins, it takes the energy, and it create moves these pistons, and then he, he kind of shows you the whole thing that he's learned. Yeah. Vin, Vin takes all of that in and then just says, yeah. yeah, that's all great, but I don't understand. We're just, the, do the horses go in the front or do they go like inside to keep protected? I, I don't, where did they no go? No horses necessary. Like a, no, okay. That's weird. Just needs souls. That's not good. Well, it's less, yeah, that's not really great. Is it? Does it destroy the souls? What's a soul coin? A soul coin is a soul trapped in a coin. I think it burns it's... through the soul, yeah. Yeah. That kind of sucks. <laughs> They're not so... using Bad it. souls, right? Sure. What do you say about not using it? Uh, they're not using their soul. That is true. <laughs> I mean... You can tell he's not quite... He, I mean... He's not like a good guy. <laughs> in, the, in that sense. Um, uh, but yeah, you do see approaching Mad Maggie and this abomination that she's stitched together of different monster parts. Um, and you see also... On her shoulders are two uh, imps without wings. And she uh, approaches you all. My, my. What fascinating guests we have. Asking about Lulu. Oh, my. It is Lulu. You see her eyes get wide and her grin gets even bigger. Yes, dearie. And who might you all be? We're friends with Larry. I, I don't know a Larry. Um, yes. we, um, well, I, I don't know if it's a bad idea to, we're, we're from, um, we're, we're here to put El Terrell back where it belongs. I heard Zariel yes, got are. herself another city. Is that what it, they call it? Yes. Ariel's so cool, don't you think? Yeah? yeah. Not wise I mean, to cross her. No. I mean I mean I'm we're such a big fan. We have I have this cool poster of her. Uh mm. and I'll pull out of the thing for my bag. Oh my, how much do you want park? for it? I'm a bit of a collector, you see. Oh uh, Yeah, I oh man. Oh, it it take quite a pretty penny, uh, technically because it's the only one, and also I think probably important for later. So, you know, it might not be for sale for right now. I see, I see. What if I help you with your little uh, predicament? I mean, maybe then. Yeah, definitely go on sale then. 
a predicament. I mean, they lose memory or something else? Or you're talking about the city. Well, Bonk said we wanted to find, use the dream machine. I can help with this. The dream machine can restore her memories? Yes, it taps the subconscious. Even a modified memory spell can be overridden. What do you think, Lulu? Will it hurt? No, dearie. I wouldn't dream to hear hurt Zariel's beastie. We should try it. There's just one little problem. You see, it's missing some parts. But you all look like capable little dearies. You, could we obtain these parts? Or you, is that what you're asking? Well, if you want to use the dream machine, I don't have the resources to send out there. I'm too busy. I'll tell us more about what you're asking. You must find four pieces. I'm going to put them in the chat as she describes them. A Nirvanan cog box used in a bunch of infernal machines. A heart stone used by night hags, but you can't use mine for this. Flagish Sodian sand, obsidian sand from the rocky plains of Phlegathus, the fourth layer of hell. Astral pistons, and part of another part from infernal machinery. Usually extruded into the astral plane. Helps with maximizing mechanical output, I think. Rarely used these days. We have better use with the soul coins. Mm. Would you be interested? Do you know where we could find these items? I have some leads, yes. I think we're interested. Good, dearies. Very good. While you find these parts, you may enjoy the services here at Fort Knucklebone for rest and recuperation. But until then, till you find the parts, I can't help you with the dream machine. The Pistons. I hear there's an Oni named Malagan, the forge master of a warlord called Kolasaya. The Pistons are part of his forge. There's also Uldrak the Tinker, based out of a helmet located in the Plains of Fire. He had some Pistons in stock a few years back. A heart stone. Well, there was a third night hag in our coven, Gaunt Gela. I believe she might have been killed by the Red Ruth. Somewhere in Averna, so I just don't know where. Perhaps she's at the Emporium. I believe she checks in there some time to time. Put these leads in chat. Um, Thank you. Uh, oh yes, the cog box. This is... Have you ever heard of a Mardron? Yes. Um, yes. 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 Out this of game, is... yes. <laughs> yeah, out of game, yes. We actually had but one at the zoo, the menagerie. Oh. There was a Mardron. Um, Interesting, okay, yeah. Yeah, so you've heard of them. 
um, weird creatures from another land, um, another plane. Um, yes, I believe a Madron ship has crashed on the shores of the Styx. Not too far from here. To the south. They should have the cog box. Mm. When you have that these parts, close. you come back here and will restore the beautiful Lulu's memories. Wait, what about the sand? Oh, the sand. Hmm. Don't have any leads on that one. You'll have to... If you go to the Emporium, there's lots of people there. They travel all over Vernus. You might find some more leads. Mm. Are these items, um... Like... Are they like a one-time use thing with the dream machine? Or are we like fixing your dream machine for you? Well, it's not for me, right? You're fixing it for dear Lulu. It just seems like there might be a little bit extra um, incentive that we could uh, for, for us doing this favor for you. Fine, you may take Chuka and Klonk in the demon grinder, but if uh, any harm comes to any of them, I will have your flayed bodies atop my mountain. Okay, Darius? Okay, okay, I mean, like... I feel like we can't promise that. Are we, are you, are you sure it's like we... You we don't promise that. Or... I don't know what you're talking about. Why wouldn't we promise that? <laughs> I mean, it's... Is, 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 is the, the, the vehicle, is it working right now? Yeah, it's just some minor appearance issues. It's all functional. Hmm. But if it were to break, but we fixed it before returning, that would not count as, like, flaying us, right? Yes, I will accept that. But if you were to kill Chuka or Klonk, oh, I would never forgive you. Not saying they won't get a little hurt, but they'll definitely- we can, we can bring them back alive, that's fine. We can do that. And a working demon grinder. <laughs> this seems seems mostly fair. Mm -hmm. If we bring back like some of the items, but not all of them, would you be? Could we get little bonuses, maybe? Perhaps I could make sure your demon grinder has soul coins. If I were to see progress, yes. This is amenable. From Are you little where... Faye yourself, dear? You make a good deal. Um. I prefer, I'm, like, I'm, I'm here some. Curious. Um. From from where do you get your soul coins? Well, it's the main point of currency around here. And Mad Maggie is very good at what she does. What 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 does Mad Maggie do? Mad Maggie rules with an iron fist, the mountain in the shape of a hand. I feel like that is not a complete answer. We fair do not deal in complete answers. <laughs> there. I'm... Yep, that checks out. <laughs> you see, my learned boy. Make sure to see Auntie Ursula. 
She's between the thumb and the first finger. Is she... Um, from your coven, the third of your coven, so she's the second? Or are you the second? Red You're the Ruth first. Is the second. You are definitely... Oh! Red Ruth. Where's Red Ruth? She's oh. the one that's probably at the Emporium. Well, occasionally. Right. Uh, sorry. Okay. Dear. Right. Okay. I see. I'm remembering. There's do, been a lot of information. <laughs> do you have Do you have a map of these areas? Many have tried to map Avernus and failed. They've all gone mad. <laughs> Discouraging. You know, I've actually that's that's interesting because I've I've been I've been kind of thinking about that. Like I've seen a representation of of hell, and I mean like the cosmic hell, and it's just like a disc on top of a disc on top of a disc. Is that how it really is? Is there like is there like an edge, or it's does it just connected. keep going on? Yeah. Okay. So so the layers are they more like political boundaries than like actual yes that is a good term yeah okay so if they we just all, if... like per layer there's still layers right yes but they all have a way to enter and leave and they have pretty clear boundaries through natural terrain could we, like, would it be possible to go straight from, like, Avernus to, like, you know, the fifth or the sixth layer of hell? Or do we have to pass through all of them? I'm very, like, I'm super curious. I'm thinking about It'd this. It'd be like, possible okay. for one such as Asmodeus himself, but it's one that's as puny as you, dearie. Oh, my. No. So does does that mean that um, the only, um, layer that borders Avernus is, is, uh, Dis. Is that yeah. right? You must go through each layer to get to okay. Asmodeus's realm. And, like, oh, this is, it. oh, man, this is kind of a brain bender, isn't it? Like, is there only one way into Dis? You're saying, I think you said no to that. So if I just... March off in a direction through Avernus. Like, what will I eventually like run into the into the end of Avernus? You'll find that as you travel, straight lines may not always be possible. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy. What if we dug down? What happens if you just like dig straight down? Do you eventually you just find fall yourself again on top of the mountain? <laughs> oh, this is exciting! This is fun. <laughs> Oh, I don't um, think you guys are going to last very long. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll surprise you, Mad Maggie. We'll, we'll, we'll step up to this. What, what did she mean? What did she mean about the cog box? It says, the shores of Styx contradis. Uh, yeah, so um, there are terms for north, east, south, and west. Um, so, this word equals north in material plane world and contra this equals south and um yeah. i'm double checking on the abyss word equals east i believe so i'm just double checking now it's cool okay so so if contra this is south then to get to dis we head this word like north that takes us mm -hmm. to the mountains of dis Yes. Probably. Dearie. Yep. That is correct. Good to know. And the river, it goes east west, right? Because it connects the plains. Mm hmm. I've seen a cosmological map too. I think that's, that makes sense. So it's like the river yeah. goes. Mm hmm. And one goes to. Is the abyss in one side and pandemonium on the other side? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but they just say a this word in contra oh. abyss. Is it? Uh, hmm. 
I, I don't think so. They're not. I don't think well, so. Well, maybe. I think I know Abyss is connected. I don't think the other side is connected to anything. I mean, I think there are some. Well, I'm just imagining the wheel, and the wheel might not be like always accurate. Yeah, in, and in they do thing. change it often. <laughs> it's hard yeah, to... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> but I, I would be surprised if hell were flanked by pandemonium and the abyss yeah well it's like but it's like you can travel the river through all of the lower plains right well you can travel the river through all of all of the layers of hell and through it's the like there's abyss, a, there's yeah. and into the abyss okay. yeah because like the river i thought go went through all the lower levels and then the um the staircase went through all the upper levels Connected everything, but I could Get be misremembering. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's fine. It's but fine. yeah. How long have you been an admirer of Zariel? Oh, ever since I arrived here. Have you seen her? Such beauty. If I only I could have such beauty. Oh, your eyes would surely fall out of your head from the beauty. And her story is such a Brilliant leader in general. Which military tactics. Will you tell us the story? Sure. And um, you see her conjure up a, a tapestry of her. Um, and she looks very different from your text that you've seen her in. Um, she is, let me see if I have a picture of, here we go. She is, her skin is white and she's marked with these black mark, like war markings. She has a crown of, a uh, ring like a, a fire around her and her wings are black. And Mad Maggie tells the story of this, like, excellent military maneuver that she led um, that helped push back uh, the demon war past the, who had encroached past the river Styx and she had pushed them back. Uh, but they, it's a constant fight back and forth. So it's not like she won the war. It's just like a, a great victory in battle that she had that was, you know, clever and um, skilled use of her resources. And this is just as Lulu tapestry. Uh, Lulu, as Lulu doing? Yeah, Lulu looks very confused, and every time she tries to say like that, Zariel did something evil. Lulu's like, "No, not my Zariel. She wouldn't do that." You know, <laughs> so she's she's in. Just utterly just does not believe this is true. Thank you, Mad Maggie, for telling us all these things. If you find any Zariel collectibles while you're out there, I will buy them. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> Definitely good to know. Very well. I'm gonna go back to my office now. Bye bye, dearies. Bye. Bye bye. Wave. She walks with uh, Mikey. Uh, the big guy uh, back to her um, inside of the mountain area, which you don't seem to be allowed in as Mikey blocks the path. I know it's a little early. Can we take a quick break? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. Let's do 10 minutes. Thank you so much.
Okay. Uh, one last thing is uh, she hands you this planar compass, um, which just essentially lets you know what's northeast, southwest. And it also, cool. she, Chuka and Klonk explain, um, you know, dis equals north to the abyss equals east. And then contra dis would be south and contra abyss would be west. Who does she give the compass to? Ah, whoever takes it. Pavel takes it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Millet wants it to just, mm. uh, Initiative. <laughs> Or a dex. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's fight. <laughs> Initiative? Uh, okay. Combat, yeah, initiative. Com combat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can have it. I'll, I'll let you have it. <laughs> All right. That was a really good roll. Yeah. Probably would have won it anyways. Well, well, hang on. Hang on, though. This is ability. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're right. It is disadvantage. And also, he beat me. How <laughs> dare you, Pavel? <laughs> I give it. I give it to Tamil. <laughs> Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Um, Did you call it I'm... an infernal compass? A uh, planar compass. Planar compass. Mm -hmm. For the outer planes. That's interesting. Do you think... I'll say this out loud to Pavel. Do you think this will work in other places other than other than hell? It has, like, walked away, unfortunately. Um, so he doesn't... He, he gave you the uh, the the, uh, the compass, and he's like, what is this demon acre? <laughs> so he's coming to check it out. You see these little melty guys. Want some soda pop? Is that what this is? Soda pop? What? what yeah, what see is, the bubbles. What? It's combination. Where, where does it come from? Dead bodies. Dead bodies. The bodies of I heard it's called demon ichor. Is it yes. dead dead demon bodies? Yes, 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 yes. Soda pop. <laughs> what does it like what does it do? Makes your does bubbly tummy. Uh tummy bubbly. Makes your tummy bubbly. That mm -hmm. is interesting. Um Is it like Silly man, have a drink. I'm uh don't need to drink it right now. Thank you. You're not thirsty? Uh, can I, I... I want some... I don't have any vials. Well, this is exciting. So it comes in this demon. Does this remind me of the poison that we had that made devils pop up? That, uh, that Phantom oh, had? Oh! Um, similar the, in the consistency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But not the same. Was that... Was no, the not the corpse stamp. stamp. Not the stamp? corpse stamps. This is like corpse stamp in that it's, uh, you know, it's from dead it's a liquid out of dead dead things. Yeah. <laughs> but I, okay, I have some vials of corpse stamp if if they are useful to you for anything. I have one vial of. They will it, they will eventually be useful. I'm just gonna give Pavel three vials of corpse stamp. <laughs> oh, I don't know why okay. I'm keeping this in my inventory. <laughs> okay. I will. I these will eventually be wizard bombs, but mm -hmm. I Good. haven't. I haven't dealt with the fire yet. <laughs> but you can. You can add three more vials to your one vial of corpse okay. stamp. So I'm not carried around anymore. Do you, do you want some vials of this ichor to make more bombs? Maybe. Um. Well, I don't know what this does, and it seems to be a little bit dangerous. Uh. It like it makes your tummy bubbly and uh turns you into a a melty person. Which Milky is the... person? I'm okay. Okay, I believe you that you are okay. But do you agree that you are also melty? No, I'm just bubbly. You're just bubbly. Okay. Here, have bubbly some. Person. And he throws this some at you. you make a <laughs> dex uh, save. <laughs> I, I run away. Yeah. <laughs> I will be back for this. <laughs> uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're good. You're good. He's, he's a little All right, I'm gonna back away. Person. I'm. I am very excited. Can I see like what happens to it? Like where where it lands? Does it like does it, it kind hit of the, pulls uh, on the... the earth and he goes and grabs it and brings it back? Did he just like pick it up with his hands and throw yeah. it at me? Mm -hmm. So that's okay. I'm. Oh, I am so curious. I I do want to taste it. Um, but I I should know better. <laughs> But I will, I will eat anything. I will, no. <laughs> no. There is a line in the universe 
and the black ichor that these creatures are swimming in is that just, line. Just, 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 just one little, and I like, I, I, I come back <laughs> up and I just dip the, just the tip of my index finger in through the, the ichor. Can I, can I smack Pavel as hard as I can? <laughs> like, um, like how, how quick do I need to be? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I rolled a nat twenty yeah. on my initiative. Yeah, I've been. Well, that was no. That was for that was for that. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Roll. Roll initiative checks. Twenty five. Okay. I, I can't beat that. Yeah. 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 All right. So you you would Vin, go first. Vin, yeah. I if 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 I see Pavel doing that, I'll, I'm gonna smack him. <laughs> I'm gonna do an unrun strike against Pavel. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ow! Probably so less than the thing would have done. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm it like hurt you. kneeling down. <laughs> I've been bonked on the head. I've got. Have I got the ichor on my finger? Uh, yeah, it would be your turn unless. Um... Well, I mean, Vince okay. still has another attack if you... <laughs> I was going to say, John, I mean, is he still looking like he's going to... Are you still feeling like you're going to dip your, dip your finger in? I don't get to have my turn. <laughs> well, hang on. Until just, you're just done. Vibes. vibes, I mean, right. it's an if, action if gonna, to take an say, insight check. <laughs> you know what? I'll. You know what? I'll, I can't because I already used my action to do that. Mm -hmm. So, attack number two. <laughs> have a, have a, Oh. God, that's funny. Oh my god. Owie. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Pavel, Pavel still looking like the acre is pretty tasty right now. No, Pavel looks like he's like, uh, he's like, ow, he's very, he's definitely distracted from the acre. Okay, that's good. For the moment, at least, he's dealing with like a, a, a throbbing headache. No need to fight yeah. over soda pop. There's plenty. Mm. Pavel's good for right now. I'm just gonna move Pavel back and give it to Mila a thumbs up. Come back, Pavel! I'm sorry. Oh, Pavel, come on. I'm gonna drag you away. <laughs> An experience you've never oh. had before. Very tasty! I don't see my token anymore. Oh, you don't see it? Oh, no. No. See it? So here? yeah, I've been. There oh, there it is. Yeah, I, yeah okay. I think I've been dragged back, and yeah. I'm uh, ow throbbing head. Ow, ow, spinch. Why not spinch? Then <laughs> <Ben>, why? <laughs> ow. You, you, you know, know why? Thing. I. You Camilla know told why. you no. Camilla, well, it was for science. <laughs> well, I I don't know a lot about science, but I'm pretty sure one of the rules is like. Don't do the dangerous stuff with your hands. Oh, I just have to figure something out later. Maybe we can find a demon and kill it and get more. Me? We're out of vials is the thing. We need more vials, and then I wouldn't have to try eating it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can always empty a vial of holy water if you really want a vial of this stuff. I mean, I would be fine to just eat it. We can Don't eat it, Pavel. Here, we can do science. Let's empty the holy water onto the the demon acre and see what it does. Ben, that is a fantastic idea. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give Pavel a vial of holy water. Yeah, I come over and I dump Don't it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, Vin is Vin will walk up with you if you even look like you're gonna eat it. Vin, okay. You're getting slapped again. Vin, uh, so Pavel pours the holy water out on the acre. What happens? Hey there, Ash. Oops, I was on mute. Yep, you see uh, the holy water uh, lands on the ichor, and they both kind of, like, there's a bit of, like, a, a crackle sound, and they both um, kind of neutralize each other, and it just looks like a grease spot. Interesting. Okay, and then I will take the now empty vial and just collect some. Are you wearing gloves? No, I don't have gloves. <laughs> Roll a I could make gloves. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. 
<laughs> wow. There you go. Oh my god. And a con save. Okay. <laughs> Am I gonna die? Oh, that's dexterity. There we go. Oh. <laughs> um. Yes, so you good. all watch as um the side of Pavel's neck um kind of like gurgles and lumps and then fades back to nothing like just normal from just like collecting it in a vial yeah just, it just a, yeah it brushed you it brushed your hand and your okay. neck reacted oh oh that was bubbly um okay <laughs> now i know <laughs> now i know and i have uh, do i have it yes you have one vial of demon anger. Vial of demon anger. Oh, this is going to be useful. I'm excited. <laughs> Should we be concerned about the neck thing? No, it's fine. It went away. <laughs> <laughs> so now I will back up. <laughs> it did feel really weird. Like, like there was something crawling <laughs> under your skin for a moment. Ooh. Don't eat it. I will not eat it. <laughs> um, I was told to go see the auntie. Okay. Um, between the thumb and the forefinger, right? Right. And I like hold up my hand. Wait, no, that's that's not something. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rita thing. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll, uh, I think, I think I know where I'm going. I think, yeah, you just, uh, pinged it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I grabbed Spinch as well. Spinch, Spinch can yep. come along. Are we all going to see the auntie? Yep, Lulu, okay. at least Jamila is, yeah. Okay. Uh, Vin? I'm grouping everyone up. Uh, we can't hear you, Vin. Pop you over there. All right, so you arrive at um, this nice little area. It's got like tents uh, with lots of pillows, a um, little dining area, and a bar where you see uh, another hag, and you see a uh, magically floating flaming skull. And behind the bar, you see a very clear looking waterfall with these fey like mushrooms. To walk up. Okay. Hello, Auntie. Oh my, oh, hello so there, well. young man. Aren't you handsome? Come on up to my bar. Still wearing the mask. <laughs> he likes the cut of your chip. <laughs> <laughs> So we met Maggie, and she suggested that we come meet you. Hello. Oh, well, I'm a very important person to know, don't you know? I... I don't know. ...run the well, which is this fabulous establishment where you can rest, you can order food, drink, potions, and you get to hang out with the lovely Auntie Ursula. That's me. Oh, and Barnabas. And she just, like, motions over to the skull. Hey, I'm Barnabas. If you all have some time, I have... I, I could use some help. What kind of help do you need, Auntie? This is Barnabas talking. <laughs> no, Barnabas needs some help? Yeah. Oh. Artemis himself, gotcha. You don't have um, to help him, darling. Uh, it's just a silly old skull. What? I, you've caught my curiosity, Barnabas. <laughs> what what, uh, what kind of help do you... Are you looking for? Oh, you're a kind lady, kind lady. Well, you see... The red caps have been throwing things at me. 
and they hit me in the jaw with a loose gear and I lost one of my teeth and it's very important as I don't have very much left of me. And I saw the red crap rubber. He grabbed it and he ran off. Please don't tell Mad Maggie. How embarrassing. Why do the Rubba, red caps throw things at you? Are you nice to them? I am nothing but nice. They are just little heathens. I'm so sorry that they're being mean to you. Um, we will keep an eye out to see if there's an opportunity to help. Not not sure we'll be able to though. We'll, we'll see. Um, you said there's not much left of you. Can, uh, it, would it, would it be offensive of me to ask where what happened to the rest of you? I, this is I haven't met a flaming talking skull before. Oh, interested in Barnabas, are you? Well, have I got a story for you? I was once a powerful wizard, more powerful than you, young boy. And I had my crypt defiled by an evil nemesis who stole my skull and turned me into a flame skull. Mad Maggie struck a bargain, and now I'm part of the gang. You were a, a lich, then. Ah, words. Ah, words? Is that what he said? Yeah, you can call it that. Okay. So you had like a phylactery and everything. You had to feed it and then... Who was your... Who, how, how, long, how long ago was this? Who was your rival? Oh, Do you even remember? Well, I don't like talking about him. He's quite an asshole. Still around? I mean, if you're asking for favors, you could ask us to, you know, go bother him. Well? I don't know. You look kind of not ready for that. No offense. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's I probably mean, if he's a... Fair. He's a rival uh, lich, then he's been around for... Potentially has been around for a very long time. And wizards only grow more powerful as they age. They're kind of like dragons that way. And I hope you have a long life, boy. If you get me my tooth back. If I get you your tooth back, you hope I have a long life. Yes. And then you can I be see. powerful like I was. <laughs> Do you have any, um, like, your spell book left or a bunch of ink lying around? <laughs> well, I have no use for that now. I could tell you a little something about a certain important wizard that lives, has a summer home in Avernus. I bet there's some good stuff there. Avernus. Yeah, 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 you, you, you should tell me about that. Oh, but I can't think about anything without my tooth. Oh, yes, it's, it's so hard to talk without your tooth. That makes sense, yeah. Um, Grubba, you said? Yeah. Which, uh, which, which way did Grubba go? Oh, he went out that way, and he just points to the south. Like he left the he left the camp. No, he just left the bar. Oh, okay. Oh, so he <laughs> came in here. You're just sitting at your stool. Is he like floating on his stool, or is he just sitting on his stool? Like, He's just this floating. Is job on. move. <laughs> this is job move when he talks. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. yeah. What did um, he point with? Uh, he pointed you know, with his jaw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, he nodded. He nodded his head. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you like to meet Nebula? Nebula is also a talking skull, but cannot move her jaw and is not on fire. Mm-hmm. Ah, 
such I'm a gonna, nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a hand on Nebula's and hey, Nebula, have you met? Do you, you, what do you think of this fellow? Do you want to talk to him? Ask him what he thinks of Tiamat. Um, Nebula wants to talk to you about Tiamat. What do you think? You want to talk about Tiamat? Ah, she lost. What a loser. What do you mean she lost? Well, she tried to take over the material plane a long time ago. Got banned okay. down here. <laughs> I see. And that's why she doesn't get to be a warlord, because she's just banned down here. Oh, yes. This is her punishment. She's growing an army, though. Do you know what for? For the blood war, probably. You think she's going to partake in the blood war? Well, or do you think she she's going to win the favor of the devils in charge? Maybe she could be free of her obligations. That's my theory, anyways. Huh. Nebula, would you like to be like a, a flaming, floating, flying skull? Yes, I want more freedom. I don't know how to get you that. I don't think I can turn you into a lich. And then unlichify you into a flaming skull. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can just make her fly? Just do the flying part? Maybe I can figure that out. I was thinking, Pavel. If I'm a soul, and I'm bound to Tiamat, would I just be born here? You mean like, what do you mean? Like if my soul was released. Oh, potentially. Would that involve just like crushing this, crush, crushing you? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't very. I'm not very. Yeah, you're probably. I, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, you were a priest of Tiamat, so you might know this thing. That's just what the scriptures say. No. But I don't know how to release my soul. Maybe spirit of knowledge. We should ask. <sighs> All right. So, uh, Auntie Ursula, how did you end up down here? Did you come with Mad Maggie when she first arrived, or did you, did you come around later or before? Ah, oh, darling, I don't like to talk about my age, but <laughs> I've been around I don't know quite how, a long time. I don't know how long Maggie has been here. <laughs> I have been running the well for as long as the well has been in existence. How about that, darling? Oh. Only fresh water in Avernus. That was interesting. I what, stole um... it from the Feywild, brought it here with me, and making a killing off of it. Auntie Ursula's quite the rich lady if you all need a sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from the Feywild? Oh, yes. Long time ago. Although I am quite young for a night tag. Hmm. She's a night hag. When did we just learn about night hags? Dang it, I go look. They have hearthstones. Hmm. But but she's not the one that Mad Maggie said to go get it from. Right. <laughs> 
You're you're a night hag, but you're not part of Mad Maggie's coven. No, we're friends, though. Business mm -hmm. compatriots. Mad Maggie protects the well, and I make sure that we have customers. Is the well like a portal to the Feywild? Is that where the water's coming from? No, ma I stole the water from the Feywild, but it is not connected anymore. Is it like an endless source, or yeah, is it like a limited source? No, it'll never run out. It's perpetual. With my magic, of course. So nobody dares hurt me. If they want pure water. It's interesting. Well, you all are free to rest in the tents should you need a safe place to sleep. And if you want a weird time, let me know. And she gives you each a wink. You did mention something about potions. Do you do you have any for sale? I do, yes. A regular potion, 60 gold. What does the potion do? Oh, healing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Uh... Do we need healing potions, y'all? You might be a little um, low. I mean, I I can't afford a healing potion. Um, like how? Uh, how it, I can't. You could if like you had how, sugar how, mama. <laughs> I, I can get one bag out of gold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not if you had a sugar mama, Tamila. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tamila. Why don't you? Why don't you, you help out the team? <laughs> <laughs> are 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 you are you looking for a sugar baby, uh, Auntie? Uh, yes, these red crabs are just no fun. Haven't had a mortal come in here in quite a while. Well, I do believe you said you like the look of someone's jaw or jib. <laughs> oh, each of you are so delectable. Staring at Pavel. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, you're how are, how are you making the, uh, the potions? Is it the mushrooms? I'm curious. So will never tell. But, but Auntie Ursula is so lovely and gorgeous and 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 wise and youthful. Oh my, do you go on? <laughs> is it the is it the fresh water from the Feywild that just uh keeps keeps your skin so smooth and, and... Uh make a persuasion <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> Oh, I see there's stuff in her <laughs> handouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what she has for sale. Um, you don't need rations uh, because of Spinch's thing, though. Um, oh, wow, 20, yeah. All right, just for you, dearie. And she um, casts, uh, which one is it, message or sending that's telepathic? Uh, both of those are. Okay. Uh, so... Message is a cantrip. So she would do message then, uh, and just say um, a combination of the water, the mushrooms, and her magics. But she could teach you. Now that is uh, a proposition. She says, if you do good by Mad Maggie, then she will teach you. I kind of uh, look at her. That is 
I think we're planning to do Goodbye Mad and Maggie, so certainly. But um, why? I, I'm 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 just a little bit surprised. You're friends. You're not part of her coven. I I imagine that if someone else were to become the ruler of the hand, not that that would ever happen, or that I would want that to happen, or anything. But I imagine it sounds like you would be able to get along with them as well. I mean, you're so charming and gorgeous. Who would ever, who would ever want to not have you running the bar? So was what is there more to the relationship with you and Mad Maggie? Um, it's nice to have a fellow fae down here. I believe that you have given me the complete answer. <laughs> what is you going to get from her? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I still have a throbbing headache, so I don't. I'm kind of up for that rest. Yeah, um, you can short rest, long rest, whatever you need is free. And the the tents are lavishly decorated with pillows and bedrolls and blankets. It would be nice to long rest so I can finally have more than three hit dice. What do you all think? I have no objection to long resting. I mean, the only thing is, are we worried about the ratcheting of El Terrell? Yeah, I think we're worried, but yeah. but um, we, we do need to sit at least for a while and kind of make a plan of what we're going to go to first. I feel like maybe the hog box with the um at the ruins since she said that was near and then maybe go to the emporium after that i don't know where the um she said the titanic helmet located on the western end of the plains of fire that seems far but maybe we should go do that first wait where were the she she mentioned locations, but obviously we can't map things. But did we? Yeah. She said the Modron one was close, didn't she? It's close. I thought she said yeah, that. Yeah. She said the. Yeah. Nirvana Cogbox. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I know this is a little bit of a thing, but like I hate the idea of using soul coins. If we go for the pistons first, maybe we can use like the extra pistons to update the machine so that we don't have to spend the soul coins. Maybe? Well, but the pistons are going to have to get used for the dream thing, right? Well, maybe we can find, like, extra or something. Yeah, or, like, might be. repurpose yeah. them. I'm, yeah. I am I am fascinated by the uh, the uh, mechanism <clears throat> contraptions, so I'm definitely interested in that and seeing what that is and what's there. Mm -hmm. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm definitely in favor of going there first. Um, mm -hmm. The planes of fire, I, I have to wonder, is there a passage into the I mean mm, the fire plane. Yeah. The, the, you want to go uh, to the city of Bre oh, actually no, you haven't told the group. Never mind. So you yeah, I, I I have. Uh, I think oh I you have. have, okay. Sorry. Um I haven't really <laughs> gone into detail. I don't really have a lot of detail. But <laughs> what? I, I've why said, do you want to get to the fire plane, Pavel? I I believe that my my parents are I thought your parents had passed. I thought so. Well, you said you were an orphan. I. I used to believe that I never had, or that my parents were just. I, I didn't know them. I, they weren't part of my life. They could have been anyone or no one. Mm. But that's not the truth. I had parents. 
so I can picture their faces now. They were doing something with Plane of Fire, and Plane of Fire ended up doing something with them instead. That's complicated. Yep. Um, okay. It, it does make sense that you could probably get to the plane of fire from the fire planes. Makes sense, right? What do you so think, we'll go? Alatrax? <laughs> plane of fire? Uh, who are you asking? Sorry. Bellatrex, the fighting school. Oh, Barnabas. It was like Barnabas. Barnabas. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> what in the like, world is that? Is that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I, you know, you, cool miss all, you miss all the shots you don't take. <laughs> um, uh, You're asking about the planes of fire, or? Yeah, like, what's, um, what's, what's, what's up with that place? Yeah, he will say, oh, yeah, there's, um, in Avernus, there's this tarry substance that seeps the soil and causes these alchemical slicks to catch on fire. Pretty dangerous place. Where did the where did the slicks come from? Just part of the natural land. And the heat of Avernus makes it fiery. Can you repeat that again? You said there's a group that does something with an oil slick? Sorry. Yeah, the um, the land uh, is like seeped with this tarry substance um, and it it catches fire. So it's like just it's ever burning fires, infernos um, on these plains. So is there any reason to think that these plains of fire and the like elemental plane of fire are like the same thing or different or connected or are they just coincidentally called the same thing? Uh, different, yeah. These are like planes like um like prairie planes, like grass planes, but instead of grass it's fire. <laughs> gotcha. Yep. And not plane like the a plane. elemental plane, yeah. Okay, that's maybe discouraging for your purposes, uh, uh, yeah, Pavel. We'll see. Some. Um, what's 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 the planes of fire? It's um. It's one of the things. It's, it's uh, the first the one. Tinker, yeah, the, has a uh, okay. shop based out of a helmet there. The cog box. No. Uh, no, the uh, pistons. No. Oh, I thought the pistons were. Oh, the cog box is the. Cog box is closer. Is the, yeah. the ship, yeah. Potentially. Okay. Well, if we rested, and then we just made a quick initial jaunt to kind of test out this new relationship with uh, was it was it Choo Choo and Clank? <laughs> Chuka and Should we make a point to like? Oh, bonk. So I say that? You said bonk? Chuka and clonk. Clonk. Oh, sorry. I, I, I asked um, Vin, do you think we should make a point to, like, learn their their names in in, uh, in Kinku, or, or is that, like, gonna be too hard? Because we're never gonna get it right, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I just try my best, and they seem to think that that's pretty good. At least in my experience, so... Do, do they appreciate the effort, or does it ever annoy them that you're saying their names wrong? It, you know, it, it seems to amuse them, if anything. So I think I think they've always appreciated it. Yeah, like, all right. And like it's like better. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> you can't do a clump. <laughs> 
It does. It does. It does present the question of: Are there trains? Do I know what a train is? <laughs> right. Yeah. Ever heard real of a person, train? Before? Yeah. Out of game, yeah, yeah. it sounds like chukka 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 or something like that, like oh, the machines okay. uh, or something. Like it could be, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're both kind of machine-sounding names for them. So I think. So I think the plan is 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 rest. And go, right? That that that's what our plan is. Barnus mm -hmm. is like, what about yep. my shoes? Oh yes. Oh, we can do that while before we like I can we rest. I don't need to actually rest right now. <laughs> so I like maybe me and Spinch who are probably in the best shape can go and see if we can find the tooth real quick. I feel like Larry might be helpful too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is true, but Larry needs to rest. <laughs> yeah, Larry, Larry needs to is rest. not afraid. <laughs> I am half well, health. As as Larry's I am on half health. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Larry. Poor Pavel. It's fine. It's fine. Let's, let's do it. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Let's go and see if we can find this, this, uh, what's the name of this guy? Uh, Booby or whatever Gruba. it is. Gruby. Gruba. Grub. Grub. Yeah. Grubba. Grumba? Grubba. Grubba. Yeah. Grubba. <laughs> um, I think maybe it'll, we can start by just heading down <laughs> to where the, where my friend is. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll just be like, Ooh, ah. so uh, do you know Grubba? Grubba around somewhere? <laughs> Larry. Are you saying this in his head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm using message. But Larry, what do you think about what I just asked? I think it's a fantastic idea and that you should pursue it with. Um, all of your heart. You suddenly hear the screams of agony of one of the red caps, <laughs> and one of the red caps falls off the gate and dies. <laughs> Is that Grubba? <laughs> Is that Larry asking? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Larry asking. Was that Grubba? <laughs> no, that was Chester. All right, where's where's Grubba? Who's Grubba? Why do you want to know about Grubba? Did he ask why do I want to know about Grubba? Yeah. All right. Well, um, Grubba is also haunted, and I need to go and find Grubba so that I can I can. Uh, I can speak to the other ghost, and we can, um... <laughs> and, and, and we can, um, you know, discuss which of the red caps are the best red caps. You hear him, like, um deeply thinking um and it's just like he suddenly says i gotta kill grubba and you see one one of the red caps starts climbing down the gate stairs it appears to be the one okay. we're talking to all the time i think it worked <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna like message everyone like follow that red cap all right Fun way to figure this. out that, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. The um, name of the one you're talking to? I don't know. I haven't asked. Larry would know. If he... <laughs> That's the whole point. Larry, I'm asking Larry if he knows. 
Apparently <laughs> Larry has an ass. I don't know his name. Larry. Oh gosh. Okay, do you... that's the poor one that died. Oh gosh. Alright, we'll now. Just coming. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Is this is this the one that's running? Yeah, this blue one. The one with the blue dot. Okay. He's running up. Y'all still there? Yep. Yeah, I'm still here. We'll just follow yep. behind, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna let others uh yeah. <laughs> lead the way. That's fine. Vin Vin's in real yeah, I mean, shape. Like we're just like following, right? Yeah. Grubba, you bastard. I'm supposed to be the only haunted one around here. Oh no. What's going on this time? Larry told me. Tell me you have a ghost. Now you have to die. Um, they're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. Let me clear this too. You're breaking it for me just a little bit, just as an FYI. Oh, sorry. I don't know if anyone else is. Um, so yeah, Gru Grubba is this one here, apparently. Um, and um, the one with the blue is attacking him. Would you like to roll initiative? Or let it play out? Uh, sure, yeah. yeah we, just... need to get, we need to get the tooth off of him, so yeah, we'll... All right. It would have been with y'all. Did we lose Pavel? Oh, no, there he is. Okay. He was under my turn order. All right. Oh, sorry, I forgot to roll for Spinch. I don't know what Spinch is going to do. <laughs> <laughs> he usually just uh, hits with his sword, but yeah, he'll probably yeah, ask is for he help. Gonna... Like, he'll probably ask, like, what are we doing? <laughs> We're definitely letting them fight, right? We're just going to, like, hope the yeah, appropriate right now, one wins. Alright. Uh Pavel, you up first. Alright. I need to I'm gonna cast message to um Twinkle Toes. Mm -hmm. And what am I gonna say? Um <laughs> before you kill Grubba, he has important information that the other ghost has told him that no one else knows and you need to find out so that you can have it and then you can share it with me that's really important this is go top secret ghost secrets okay i'm at 25 <laughs> words by now i'm sure i think that's <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's it okay wait uh... hold on hold on no that's not it oh. i can i can spend <laughs> i'm gonna use meta magic <laughs> Nice. Quicken and quicken another. Um, so it's been two sorcery points. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, quicken a, another message <laughs> to, to ask him. Um, oh, what's it's bar? There's a name. Where's what's the what's Barnabas. the flaming school? Barnabas. Yep. <laughs> okay. Barnabas's tooth is very important for the ghosts, and Grubba knows where it is. Get, get information from Grubba about where Barnabas's tooth is. Uh, when you mention uh, Barnabas's tooth, he says, Grubba, do you have the lucky tooth? Um... And Grubba just looks really uh, angry now, and um, yeah, they're still—they still seem like they're gonna fight. 
Then. All right, well, that's it for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, yeah. Unless you want to move. I'm, uh, I'm kind of in a okay spot. Well, no, I'm, like, right next to this guy. I'm going to go over here. All right. <laughs> uh, then you're up. Uh, I didn't hear any of that conversation. So oh, right. I, <laughs> Vin is just gonna wait. Okay. I guess. Okay. Um, you see, I mean, we're not kind of involved yet. So Vin is just gonna, I guess, we'll, 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 we'll say for the sake, just in case things get really violent, Vin will take the dodge action. But like, otherwise, Vin is just waiting to see how things play out here. Uh, and going from there. All right, sounds good. Uh, Tamilla? Um, yeah, Tamilla would like to hide, I guess. Okay, yeah, stealth. Yep. Uh, still exhausted. Okay, uh, stealth. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. else? <laughs> um, no, she's just watching, watching. Name nameless and, and grubba. Yep. See what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spinch. Uh Pavel. Are you gonna have oh, Spinch doing? Right, him? yes. Yeah. Spinch. <laughs> um guys, what are we doing? What are we doing over here? <laughs> great great questions. Really honestly great questions, Spinch. <laughs> okay. I will, uh, I will just stand here and, uh, watch. <laughs> That's good. That is good. Alright, um, these two are going to duke it out, then. Um. You see Nameless is attacking Greba with a little wicked sickle. Um, uh, swings at him three times, um, wounding him, but not terribly so. Um, and Ch Greba swings back and uh, does a pretty good job at hurting Nameless. So Nameless is losing the fight. Pavel. You see the other ones uh, start, like, kind of forming a circle around, like, fight, 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 fight. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I want to help my buddy. So I am going to, I mean, what else am I going to use my spells a lot today? Uh, can I send Piggy over? Mm -hmm. um, gosh, where is, what, how do I? Okay, so if I do that, uh, Piggy can dash over. Okay. And this is kind of scary. Because <laughs> he's just going to be there now. Mm -hmm. Piggy is going to dash over. And uh, and come up to uh, Ferret Face, and Pavel is going to cast Dragon's Breath onto oh onto uh, the, uh, onto um, um, Big Eye, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Fourth level. Wow. Okay, so he so can now, so that's a bonus save. action. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's a, oh, he he can now use his action oh, okay, okay, okay. To, to do a dragon's breath. Nice. Um, but I'm going to, that's a bonus action. I am going to, uh, to, to also let him know if Grubba dies without us finding out where the lucky tooth is, then you will be officially unsubscribed from haunting. <laughs> oh no. And that's my turn. <laughs> awesome. Uh, 
I think it's an action. Actually, can I? Mm-hmm. I don't think I can. I'm just gonna double check something on. Okay. I think it's an action to uh, just shunt my fil- familiar out of this plane of existence. Um, oh, okay. So I probably can't do that, but I'm gonna read it really quickly. Because I would love to be able to do that. Such a long spell description. Can, um, okay. As an action, you can temporarily dismiss your familiar. Uh, it disappears into a fire. So that, that is an action. So yeah. uh, Piggy is just over there for now. Okay. Please don't die, Piggy. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Finn. <laughs> Still dodging? Or... Yeah, I mean, I don't... Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Since it seems like everyone is distracted by this fight going on, mm-hmm. I just want to do what Tamilla did, except maybe actually succeed. <laughs> I'm going to jump behind here and hide. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... If you don't mind, because there's this little ledge here. Can I hide, like, in this little nook here? Yeah, like we'll right say well, you'd have to roll higher because it's more. Yeah, that's covered. fine. Yeah. I just want to get mm-hmm. a little closer. Yep. Uh, so stuff. Okay. High, higher than the natural one. That is true. Not great, but. Mm-hmm. All right, Tamila. I'm gonna look at Pavel and be like, "Want me to heal him?" I don't know. You want to heal him? And I'm going to use my magic to heal him. I mean, as long as the other one doesn't die. I mean, I, I kind of want him to win because he's like our boy. But, you know, if he dies, that's also okay. I'm going to use my really cool new spell. Because <laughs> I want to use it. I'm going to conjure a healing spirit. Okay. And I'm going to conjure a little ladybug that oh. lives in his square. So I think okay. it might make more sense to just put like a dot on his token because it's in yeah, his square, and um, and he'll get some healies. A red dot for the ladybug. Oh, what? sorry, radiant was turned on. Ignore radiant. He gets six healies. Nice. Yeah, you see, um, some of the blood um, stops flowing from this gash in his side. Uh, Pavel Spinch. Right. Um, <laughs> I just like. I mean, with Spinch, with Spinch, I mean, I I don't know if Spinch would do this, but I want him to come up. <laughs> this is what I would do if I played Spinch. Okay. Fight! 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Lovely. You see the the one next to him, next to Spinch, is like. Taking bets, taking bets, Grubba versus Max. Who's gonna win? Oh, what, what, uh, what, what do you bet? Do you bet food? I can make food. Whatever you Come got, on. my man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's he betting on? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. I can't bet. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, bet, I can't bet. It's just stuff. <laughs> I bet all of Spinch's go- oh, Spinch's the tentacle. I bet <laughs> all of Spinch's go- <laughs> Yeah. Double them up. Double them up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think Spinch would bet. Spinch would be like, what is betting? <laughs> uh, this guy's like, I ain't got time for you. And he starts, like, dealing with the other guy. Um... And then these two are going to fight again, right? So they need to attack each other. Okay, so... Um, yeah, uh, Van Dyke has uh, Dragon's Breath if he wants to use it. <laughs> oh, right, right, yeah. Um, that's a good point. Yeah, he'll use it. No, what's the... Um, there's a deck save? I'll just, I'll just do it. Yeah, it's a deck save. Do they take Terrible half? Roll. Um, 
If they succeed, yes, they take half. Okay. Yeah, he, he actually succeeded on this. Um, but it's a cone, right? So Yeah, it's a 15-foot cone. Yeah, and, he, oh, I forgot to, to specify to the, the damage. We'll go, we'll go with acid damage. Okay. All right, so he's going to get the guy behind, too. Oh, that guy failed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, you see this guy is burning, and he's like, ah, and he starts, like, running away. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, this guy's gonna attack with his sickle, um, and on Max, which is your boy. Um, so, Max. <laughs> yes, you have a name now from the betting guy. Alright, so he mm. got... All right, they look about evenly matched now. Anything you'd like to do this round? Uh, Piggy is going to disengage and come back. <laughs> okay. Um. And you? Yep. I uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm good to just wait it out for now. Okay. Uh, I I trust um I you know I I trust him to win, and if he doesn't win, then we get the. We just question Grubba. We know who Grubba yeah. is now. <laughs> Alright, Vin? Yeah, I kind of in the same spot. I was going to okay. try to dart him, but I feel like I feel like this can invalidate the fight, and I'm not going to mm -hmm. upset everybody in this area really quickly, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. Uh, so I'll just... Uh, I'm kind of... I think I'm hidden away. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just going to stay where I am and watch the fight and see how it goes. Okay. Uh, Tamela? Yep. So the spirit um, just heals him again um, automatically without having to me use a thing to do it. Awesome. So do there are six or... Okay, great. Yep, it's do six. Yay. Cool. cool. Um, He's looking better now. And... That's true, right? Is um And then, yeah, Tamela's going to try like hide behind Vin. And like kill him towards him if she can. Yeah. Can she, she, she is still the gainer? Is it still her? Cra okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Shadow's just like confusedly like nudging you, obviously, <laughs> kind of giving away your position. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's um. But yeah, that's all she's she's gonna do for her turn. Uh, same thing with Spinch. Uh, Pavel's yes. Finished? Okay. Yes. All right. So we're just gonna keep going. Uh, call out if you want to add anything. Uh, but I'm just gonna do a couple rounds of them. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. He'll, he'll heal each and turn. He can, yeah. He can. Mm -hmm. If he wants to, he can continue to dragon's breath. He's actually better with the sickle, so he's gonna oh. do that. <laughs> That's funny. Better than I mean I rolled really badly than five d eight. Sorry, five d six. Oh well, it would be versus six d four. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. These guys hit yeah. hard. Yeah. We would die if we tried to fight these dudes. There's like so many of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They hit hard. Um, and actually, yeah, he uh, gets Grubba to death's door, and the other ones are cheering, like, kill him! Um, and Max is like, tell me where the tooth is! Uh, and um, Grubba uh, hands over a little pouch, um, and then Max sl slices his throat, and Grubba is dead. Aww. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Larry! I am the only haunted one now. Congratulations. And uh, I have a lucky well tooth. Done. So about that tooth, you are going to need to get rid of it. Aw, but it's because lucky. Because it may be lucky, but it also has, and I like try to like start sort of cutting in and out. It also has properties 
get rid of <laughs> hauntings. <laughs> All right, deception with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have to press things. Here we go. Uh, I can find buttons. But what should I do with it? <laughs> Larry, what should I do? Leave it with Panther. What's the last word? Panther. Panther. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give, give Tamila an FYI. Yeah. Excuse me, you fine Big warrior cow. beast. Will you accept this tooth? And he hands the pouch like towards Shadow's face. Um. I guess Tamila's come out of hiding. She'll just just take out with with that, and she'll like. Encourage her to stick to <laughs> uh, animal handling with advantage. Okay. Uh, then straight roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exhausted. All right. Okay. okay. He good. takes it uh, gently, um, and you see him. Uh, Max like wipes like the sweat off his brow. All right, Larry. We should be good now. I am so proud of you, Charles. Uh, you've done. Excellent work. My name's Max. Oh, Max. Do you do you like Max? I mean, I guess it could be Charles. Okay. Do you like Charles? I like Charles. Is it cool? Is Charles a cool name? A, a cool name for a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be Charles now. And he'll yell out to the other red cats. After that fight... I am now Charles! And they all cheer him. <laughs> Charles! Can he, Charles! <laughs> can he do a dragon's breath? Just like... <laughs> yeah, just up in the air. <laughs> yeah. All the red, red caps are cheering Charles, who is now like kind of like the, the hero of the red caps. <laughs> and you have a tooth. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Give the tooth to Pavel. Oh, Thank you're such you. a good girl, Shadow. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> um, Pavel, you feel um, a little, like, giddy about how you've been using deception and um, your shenanigans. Um, <laughs> and uh, you actually heal 2d4 plus 2. Oh. So you can roll out. Oh, interesting. Okay. So seven. Yep. That's nice. Wow, that is... It is sad how much of a difference that makes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little wizard. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make my way back to... Oh, my God. Bartholomew. Barnabas. Bar Bar Barnabas. 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 I said that with such confidence. <laughs> I love all these names. <laughs> I think hey Vin there. is going to call him Scully, so that's fine. Hey there, uh, Big B. <laughs> hey there, uh, hey. Puny P. That's. I guess that's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here you go, and I like take out the the pouch and I put it on the. Uh, well, I guess I open it. Mm -hmm. I, is there a tooth in here? Yes, there is a gold tooth. Okay. Uh, pull it out. Is this your uh, missing tooth? Oh yes, that's it. Stick it in, and he opens his jaw. <laughs> okay. This is. Totally fine. <laughs> where, where does it go? Which, which? And um, he kind of like talks you through, like, yeah, this. I don't know. The second tooth to the left of the, you know, the center. Here's here's a question. Mm -hmm. Would you like to be a unicorn? 
Now I just want to be Barnabas the Flame Skull. All right, uh, and I will. I will put it in. Um, you're you're a creature, right? So I can't just min this back onto you. Uh, he would know. Let's see. I'll give. I'll I give it a try. I am undead. <laughs> We'll, we'll see what happens, and I will put it where <laughs> it's supposed to be, and I will try to cast Mending to, uh, to like, you know. I'll say because like, it's gold, you, that that you, part you, is a fixed, yeah. You, you think okay. it, it's it's pretty sturdily in there. Okay, that, that helped. <laughs> nice. Is, yeah. uh, go ahead and roll a d4 for the flames. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble again, guys. <laughs> Take two uh, fire damage. Oh gosh, I I I I should be a little bit nervous about this. <laughs> I didn't quite play the the fire right. <laughs> um. So as Pavel is doing this, and he's like reaching in, he's like, well, like the thing is, um, he 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 has his fear of fire back, but it's it's not the same. Um, mm -hmm. and as, as it was before. Um, and so he, he definitely, like, there's a moment as he's, he's going in to do this, to put the, put the, the flame back where he hesitates. Uh, and then like sort of trembling a little bit, he like takes a breath and he just puts it in, cast mending, pulls his hand back out. And, goes, <laughs> ah! and he's like, ah! and like, he, he definitely looks pretty disturbed, but he, he, he was able to do it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. And for that, Ursula hit the dude and she uh, pulls out a common healing potion. There you go. There wizard. Ask about the go. wizard. The wizard. <laughs> Actually. Oh, yeah. Well, I was telling you about the summer home. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Tasha? Tasha, 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 nope. Tasha. It's not ringing a bell. She's a legendary witch. She has a summer home. Uh, close to the Elf Screen Tavernus. The Elf Screen Tavernus? Elf Screen Tavernus. Elf Screen. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is, uh, that's not that's a word, a word. you would have guessed. <laughs> nope. Summer home in Avernus at the, near the Elves. What is the Elves Scream uh, Tavernus? Tavern Hus. It's on the River Styx, close to the Mountains of Dis. Okay. Well, that's... So we can follow the River Styx. That makes sense. That's what... Yeah, okay. Can we just follow the river sticks to every location that we want to go to? I guess not. This There's this a lot of wastelands. Not... Yeah. Okay. It's a good landmark okay. for direction, so. It's helpful to know that. Uh, is, is, is. Oh, wait, no, we know that this uh, is. North. West? North. <laughs> right, because <laughs> this is east. Mm -hmm. This is word, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, very okay. We know where to go. And she is south of the tavern. Oh my gosh, as helpful as you are, glamorous. Finally, someone respects Barnabas. <laughs> yep, yep. We all respect you the same, Scully. <laughs> Respect is a word. You see his eyes flare when you call him Scully, but he he's too happy to say anything about it. Um, and uh, we'll call it there for the night. I think that's a good ending point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Helping <laughs> Barnabas. <laughs> nice.